everybody, this is Dr. Jeremy Payne, and this is Dr. Jessica Payne with Evolution Integrative Medicine. And today we're going to be doing an evaluation and looking at how the fascia can create challenges and problems for people and why people seem to always have to go back to the chiropractor when they really shouldn't unless they get proper care. But before we get started, I want to make sure that you subscribe and that you like this video. And please remember to hit the notification bell so that way you can get all the updates every single week whenever we put out a new video for you. So before we get started, I want Dr. Jessica to just explain what the fascia is, that yes. way people know, and then we can move forward from there. All right, so the fascia is a thin sheath membrane over all of our muscles and our organs. And it, this fascia allows our muscles to glide smoothly, okay? However, fascia can get bound up and it can look kind of like this. So if I grab his shirt like this and pull, he doesn't just feel the strain where my, the fascia is bound up where my hand is. He's feeling a strain over here. He's feeling a strain over there. So today, one of the ways that we evaluate the fascia and why we evaluate the fascia is because if we're not addressing the fascia, then the spinal alignment, your adjustments are not gonna hold. Okay, so I want to address and check and see if his fascia is gliding smoothly around his shoulders. So I know he's had a neck injury in the past and I uh, had surgery on it and the fascia around the neck and the shoulders can really be imbalanced. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to evaluate to see how his range of motion is and how that fascia is gliding. So here his arm goes up really nice with ease. Go ahead and relax your arm here. I'm gonna bring it up. And this one's really tight, okay? Straining on me too, all right? So I can't even imagine how tight he is feeling this left shoulder and this left side of his neck. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him lay on his back. Go ahead and lay on your back. And I'm gonna assess his hip because I know that the shoulders work together with the hips, all right? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assess each one of his hips. So I'm gonna have you just relax, don't help me. I'm gonna look and see how well his hip range of motion is, and that's pretty great, especially for a male. Okay, I'm gonna to go to this left side, go ahead and relax, don't help me. All right, and it stops about there, okay? That I is can, not good. I can actually just feel that. Strain on the right. There, yeah. So he can feel strain or pulling on the right, but even though it's his left side, that's restricted and bound up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of our instruments called the percussor, which this percussor is just phenomenal to help unwind the fascia. You can unwind organ fascia strain, you can unwind joint, fascial strain. And a disclaimer, it's not like the muscle bends you buy on online. Oh yeah, this is, this is, yeah, this is a medical this device. Is specifically made to go on the bone, which yeah. is where the fascia is, is bound up the most. So right now I'm unwinding the fascia. And the neat thing about the fascia, it holds so much information in the body. I have had grown older men crying on the table because they're releasing memories. They can remember things from their past or certain big emotions because emotions get trapped in the fascia. So as I'm unwinding this at his hip joint, what I'm going to do is also go up to his left shoulder in just a moment. And I can feel the tissue unwinding around him. I can feel his quadricep loosening up. And now I'm gonna go up to his shoulder. Go ahead and tuck this hand underneath your bottom. Straight armed. Now I've had people come in with debilitating shoulder pain and debilitating hip pain. Also frozen shoulders or a history of a frozen shoulder, and the fascia is still so bound up. And it, it seems kind of strange, but the person can sit up and immediately move their shoulder. So now we get to show you how fast and effective it is to unwind the fascia. So now I'm gonna have you sit back up. Let's recheck, actually, no, stay there. We'll check your hip right now. So. 
I'll move this up again. Let's just see what that did for your hip. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this the same. I wanna check that right side. Relax, I've got you. This side's actually looser. No, relax, I've got you. Look at that, huge difference. Okay, now what I'm gonna have you do is sit on up. Go ahead and face away from me. I'll take your arm, can I have that here? Good. Bringing this up, this was the easy one. Go and relax, I want all your weight. Oh yeah, night and day difference. Awesome. So that's how important it is to address the fascia. Make sure that it is gliding smoothly so the muscles can also move, but really allow the joint to have its full range of motion. All right. I hope you guys learned something today. Again, thank you guys for tuning in to our video. And again, I'm Dr. Jeremy Payne. This is Dr. Jessica Payne with, with Evolution Integrative Medicine. And, and, and I want you to remember to please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please like it and share it with other people. Again, have a great day.